Okay, so once you've reached the end of that, all you want to do is chain one, turn your work, and this is where we will start to do the first two stitches, last two stitches as a decrease, and everything else and everything else in between is still a double crochet. This will work down into a point. So all you need to do is yarn over, go into that first stitch, yarn over again, pull through the first two, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through the first two, pull through all three. And then you're working your double crochets until you reach the last two stitches where you would do your decrease again and you'll continue to do this down until you reach a point. If you need a reminder of how to do this you can check out my Frankenstein tutorial so go ahead and complete that work yourself down to a point and I will meet you at the end of the point. Okay so on to the last row just want to chain one turn your work and just like with Dracula we have three stitches left so we're just going to go into we're just going to go into all three of those stitches for one decrease stitch and then pull up a loop cut your arm and that is that part of our pumpkin banner done. I recommend going in and stitching in these ends now and I'm going to stitch in this one as well but you leave this one free so I'll meet you back in a minute. Okay so now what you want to do is take your brown yarn, create a slip knot and chain 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What you want to do now is chain one more and we're going to do a treble into the third chain from hook. So going into the back of that third chain for a treble crochet. You're going to go into the next chain for another treble crochet. Into the next chain you're going to do a double crochet. Into the next chain another double crochet. Into the next chain, a half double. Into the next chain, another half double. And then another. And into the last three, you're going to do single crochets. And now you're going to pull up a loop. And you're going to cut your yarn. And that makes the stalk for our pumpkin. So I'm going to put that to the side for the minute. Now taking our green, we're going to create a slip knot. And we're going to chain nine. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to slip stitch into the second chain from hook. We're going to single crochet in the next chain. We're going to half double crochet in the next chain. Into the next two chains we're going to do a double crochet. Into 
into the next chain and we're going to do a half double crochet. Into the next chain we're going to do a single crochet. And into the next chain we're going to do a slip stitch. We're going to do another two slip stitches into that same spot. And then we're going to go into the next chain over, working back down the other side. We're going to do a single crochet. We're going to do a half double crochet. We're going to do two double crochets. We're going to do a half double. We're going to do a single and we're going to slip stitch back into that top chain. And then you're going to pull up a nice long bit of yarn. And we're going to cut our yarn. And that creates our leaf. You can pop this to the side as well for the moment. We're now going to make the curly Q. To do this, you want to create a slip knot. And for the length, the length of this can be anything you want. So I'm going to chain 30, but you can make it any, you can make it as long or as short as you like. So one, two, three four, five, six. So once you've reached the end of your chain, what you want to do is, what I'm going to do is go into the first six chains with one slip stitch. And then to make it curl for the rest of the chain, what you need to do is go into every chain for two slip stitches. So continue that along doing two slip stitches into every chain and I will meet you at the end. So once you reach the end you just want to pull up a loop and cut your yarn. If you don't feel it's curly enough you can just curl it more with your fingers. So now you've got that and you've got the rest of your pieces, all you need to do is, with this one I suggest stitching in the ends, so I'll meet you back in a second. Okay now we're going to sew back the top of the pumpkin to create our channel. All you need to do is line it up with one of the rows and catch the ends. Just catching the back loops as you go. Okay, and now we can add all of our pieces to the top. So all you want to do is take your needle, attach it to one of the, the, the strands that we have, find the middle, and then you can just stitch it down.
and then you just do the same with the leaf and the curly cue. So once you've done those, I will meet you back. Okay, so once you've done that, the next step is to add the mouth. You just want to take a length of black yarn and decide where you want this to begin and end. I'm going to chain stitch the smile on my one. Okay, so now all you need to do is add your rod and your tassel, both of which I show you how to do in the Frankenstein tutorial. So once you've done that, I'll meet you back. Okay, and now we are all done. There is our pumpkin pennant, our pumpkin wall hanging. I hope you've all enjoyed this tutorial. I just wanted to show you quickly that you don't have to do the black eyes, the changing it. You can just do one plain body and then stitch on the features and do the, the stalk and the leaf the same way and this is what you get if you do a longer curly cue. For the pumpkins I quite like to put a contrasting colour against the tassel I think it gives it something a little bit extra. I hope you've all enjoyed this tutorial, it was really fun for me to make. There is still more on the way of our new monster pennant series. Please do subscribe and like the video to let me know you want more Comment down below if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!